beautiful people. My name is Savannah, but I'm here I go by Savvy C. And welcome, welcome back to Savvy C School. Today, I'm going to school. I'm leaving Alabama, so Metro Station. But, and I'm heading to school. And I thought, why well, I just take you guys along with me? It's a beautiful day. Look, I'll give you a full pan. Beautiful day in Paris. And I thought, why not? taking a school with me, so let's go. with the K Dorsey building. So this is like the main building on campus. This is like the hub. I'm just gonna walk you guys through this building and this the whole tour. So this is the main lobby when you walk in. K Dorsey is also connected to Combs, but we'll talk about that later. So you walk in, go up these little stairs. This is like the proper first floor. So there's a ton of lockers, navigation desks. That's always someone's not there now, but you know, somewhere to help you, a librarian. And this is the library, one of my favorite places to study and just hang out and chill on campus. I love the natural lights, the plants, you know, great place to just get some work done. I eat lunch in here. Not sure if we're allowed to, but I do anyways. And yeah, it's just a great show place. Printers down there as well. You can always print out and just chill, you know, catch a vibe, you know what I'm saying? And outside the library, then you go to the elevator. So there's eight floors or i guess nine technically but like you know with french starts at zero floors and so i will walk you through all those and on the first floor the zero floor this is like the main atrium lobby area that you walk into like the very back of the building with so like the stairs on the right which you just passed in the elevators and there's like this cool like little compass on the ground because you know we are global explorers hunsi okay then let's go up to the next floor there's yours truly then the first floor. This is a great floor for some naps, okay? Do you see these couches I'm gonna show you in a second? Those are prime for, this is like a quiet area. So it's like you can get, you can do one or two things. You can take some good naps on one of these two couches or you can like really grind out on work. There's a private study area against the wall over there or just like open space areas to study. And you can look at Baton Rouge if you want. Then up next, floor number two again has a quiet area this has also um librarians like offices so you can like access people there if you want to um and also has four uh mac desktops which are great if you know your laptop's acting weird or whatever you can just have that access and you can always log into those with your school id what i love too about this floor i'm about to show you guys in a second is this like hidden reading nook so again if you just want a break from school, peace of mind, just a little rest between classes or whatever just to get your mind off things. This is a great place and with an even better view. The next up, the third floor. Now this is like a more open workspace and this is home to like the career center and things like that. So this is where you can like talk more freely. You don't have to like worry about your tone of voice, like your uh, level of voice. And again, just more open tables. With COVID, you can only have one person at a table, or yeah, one person per table. But you know, hopefully when everyone's all vaccinated and everything, that's good to go. Then this is just, again, all through the career center. So you can have like your cover letter, your resume in English and in French. And these are all just great things, you know, interview prep, like whatever you need to get to secure the bag to get a job your girl recently just started an internship whoop whoop I should probably talk about in the video and you know this career center all their events online have been super helpful then next floor number four this is one of my favorite uh, places to go on campus this has a ton of study rooms and you know it's just a great place to get some solace some peace and quiet and just get some work done on your own space, kind of like your own personal office space is what it feels like to me. Hey guys, so I'm in the fourth floor. Oh, I'm on the fourth floor, okay, there's so now. 
We call it just the K building for short. Potato C is like literally the road it's on. And um, I'm in one of the study rooms. You can book study rooms here. It used to be like in group settings, but now we know with COVID, it's only one at a time. So I come here just for like a chain of scenery, but I'll feel like staying at home or working at home. And you can book it for four hours at a time and then you're done. And then what I love about this room, 409, is you get a view of Beto Mouche, I'll show you. So yeah, so I'm about to eat a little bar breakfast, brunch type thing, and then get some work in. Now let's go to forward number five. I love this room because I'm involved with AEP Student Media, I am the executive producer for AEP Radio, and so I come here. On the right is the Student Media Lab, which you're showing. So this is home to like all things student ASM Student Media. So they have like great uh, desktops there. They have mics for recording, um, and then just like table space and like workspace. And then you can also check out equipment there as well through the school there. And then on the left is just the Civic Media Lab, which I honestly don't know what's the difference, but, you know, it's there. <laughs> then for number six, again, this is really just classrooms and then the Democracy Critical Center for Democracy Studies. Again, not familiar. I'm global comm, not in politics, but I've had, had a class up here. And it's great. There's a beautiful view from the sixth floor. You just see, like, across the city and the skyline. It's really cool. Then the seventh floor as well, I've had classes up here, and it's also home to the Genocide, Human Rights, and Conflict uh, Prevention excuse me, Center. So just great work being done on this floor within the four walls of AUP. And again, yeah, this is just another common classroom we've had a few classes at with just huge windows, have a lot of natural light coming in, which I really love and enjoy. Then last but certainly not least, the eighth floor, which again, outside probably this like 1A, 1B, this is like my 1A and 1B would be the fourth floor. I love seeing up here. This is a great place to come for lunch if the Amex is like too busy. And oh, I didn't mention about that. My fault. Be going to talk about the Amex later. I'll slide that in somewhere. <laughs> uh, Amex is just a place downstairs you can eat food. It's kind of like um, the friend's place. So K and Combs are connected, like I said earlier. Combs was the oldest, and they bought K recently. And so Combs is five floors in total. And let's go up first to floor number one, of course. I have this spiraling staircase, which I love. And there's also an elevator, so, you know, you have to walk up the stairs if you don't, if you don't want to. So the first floor, again, is just home to a lot of classrooms. I've had a few classes in this first class we're about to walk into c101 so just especially now because of like with covid having make sure that everyone has space and you know we're socially distanced so this is just like a typical classroom and then here is another one again just like high ceilings i love the like floor to ceiling um windows you know a lot of natural light pouring in i like that and then just the typical podium then like a nice little comfy couch and um some bathrooms there are bathrooms on every floor which is nice some are um all gendered and then some specify the ginger so just keep that in mind then moving to the second floor this is home to some science classrooms and like offices as well as the grad lounge woo -doo -woo. shouts to my grad students current past and incoming i wasn't able to go in there i totally forgot i don't know where my id card was also in this so but people compare it to like Hogwarts, like gives like Harry Potter vibes. So maybe I'll let that be a surprise. You discover that on your own when you get here. But it's a great space for grad students to get in. You have to just scan your ID to do so. Then moving on to the third floor. This is where I have one of my classes now. Uh, this is home to like a lot of the multimedia spaces, um, home to like student government offices, student services, things like that. So Peacock Plume, uh, ASM, all that stuff. Um, a lot of their production classrooms are here. So I have that classroom, that door on the far left. That's where I have my visual design practicum class. And it's just a huge computer lab with like Mac desktops everywhere. So I use that for my design class. Then walking down the hall, it'll be like you'll see people for student government. Um, those involved with like... Yeah, the student government, student council, like just all all of that is ho housed here. So like undergraduate, student council, graduate student council, 
yeah, just all that jazz, the, the magic, the AUP political student, you know, based magic happens on this floor. Um, and they have office hours too, so you can like come and like speak to, you know, whoever you'd like to regarding AUP things, anything you'd like to get done and or like to see change. So that's this floor. Then the fourth floor, again, is just more student services. So this is like the go-to place if something's wrong. Like, you don't know about banking. You are locked out of your apartment. You, I don't know, are wanting to change roommates. Like, whatever you need regarding, like, this is like your go-to place. Like, your, you know, your 911 help. Like, you know, like, this is where you go. So... The student development help desk is over there. It is panned over it. And that is like your go-to place. Uh, Jan is there. He is so helpful. He knows everything and everyone. Everyone on this floor speaks like three plus languages. Like you will be a-okay. These couches are really comfy too. So you can stand up, take a nap, cry a little bit, and then get some help. It's great. Very therapeutic floor. Um, also too, you know, this is like really cool map. I think it's like of places where students are from at AUP, I'm pretty sure. I haven't stared at it closely, but I would take a guess. And this bookcase is of free books. And then another highlight of this floor, I'll try to Audrey Bohr, shout to her, is this window. And again, I'm just a sucker for natural light in the view. You see a little Eiffel Tower there. You see her? You see her peeping out, poking out? And again, just looking at the view, taking some natural light. I mean, it's not, you know, something grandiose, but... You know, it'd be the little things nowadays, you know, the little things get you through. And so if you like me, like natural light, this is a great place to come. Then last but certainly not least, the fifth floor, which is home to the health office, as well as some art history and fine arts classrooms. Health office now, honey, is more important than ever, okay? Because we are already still in a Panera bread. We're over a year in this pandemic. And so this is where you get all things covid related dr lib um we have msh international insurance if you're an aup student so you know everything regarding that is the health office there they're so lovely you have their wealth information you can always go there if you need any help and then here's just a random classroom up here too that i found it's called the eiffel tower classroom but i don't know if you like, i looked through the windows and could see the eiffel tower but i mean i'm sure it's named that for a reason maybe i was looking in the wrong place then next up, Passage Landreau. This is down the street from New St. Dominique, which we'll show in a second. This is like just kind of like a, not a random, random building, but just not as popular. This is home to the bookstore and a few like visual arts uh, classes. So a lot of like hands-on technical things like sculpting, painting, um, yeah, home to the bookstore, like I said. So that's where all these things are. And I think it's kind of cool how, like, this entrance looks kind of like, it's like a TV lot or something, like a trailer, and it's on a movie lot. That was really funny, but that's it. Then la the next up, we have a Rue Stain Dominique. Now, this is, like, our, like, quad, if you will. This is, like, core to campus. Like, everything kind of builds off of Rue St. Dominique. Like if you were lost, don't know where to go, start here and then find the building from there. So this main road right here, this is like the heart of campus, like I said, to your immediate left, I'll go straight down in a second, but to your immediate left, you will see um, the same street that passes Landu was on, as well as the Rue St. Dominique building, which I'm walking up to. So the Passage Landieu is like straight down this road on the left hand side. But this is just that same road, but just before. And also too, it's nice. There's a um, monoprix, a mono, like a mini monoprix on this corner here. So if you're like running late and you can just come to campus, get a little breakfast, get a little snack, get a little lunch, whatever. And you're good to go. So this is the Rue St. Dominique building. I wasn't able to go inside when I filmed this, but it's home to uh, the post office boxes. So like everyone gets a on campus um, mailbox, like you can ship packages to campus. So that's always clutch. And then I know some language classes are taught in here as well. So that's just what this building is. Nothing, nothing too, too crazy, but that's what... Uh, that is home too, and it's a really great resource too if you don't want to ship things to your address because sometimes shipping in Paris is a mess. Then again, here is Rue Saint Dominique. It is really vibrant, like I said. Um, I really just compare it to like 
R. Kawhi. Here's a BLC Bone, which is a great, um, healthy, uh, not restaurant, <laughs> uh, grocery store, excuse me. And then coming up to is a Starbucks. So again, you know, if you want you're missing a little American cravings, you can get a little Starbucks and get things going. This has a lot of restaurants on this street, uh, stores, everything you want on this street. Then Passage Jean Nicole is this long passageway, as you'll see in a second, that leads you all the way to Grinnell, which is our second to last stop on this tour. Oh, I know, all three things come to an end. So here's Grinnell. Now, this is like totally like, if you feel like you're lost, I don't blame you. Because what? This is as hidden as it gets. You literally are walking past people's residencies. Like people live here. Whole people, whole families live here. A entire church. Because, you know, after all, this is France. There's a, a cathedral or a church on every like other block. There is a playground around the corner where you see kids. They're so cute. And then, and only then, you'll see this little old sign here that says, hey, girl, you're in the right place. Keep going straight ahead. Now, Grinnell is just, I don't know what it is, but it's just something, maybe like how far it is from the street, whatever. But it's just, it always takes a minute to get here. So if you have a classroom in Grinnell, try to leave like 10, 15 minutes early than you normally would leave. So you just have ample time. So you have to be rushing, especially when it rains. It was kind of a slight L. But after you go through all this passageway, it opens up into this and this is Grinnell and again you'll see people like walking their dogs being with their kids people like live in these buildings it's very much you know AP is a part of the Paris community so you know we're integrated um and so this is Grinnell this is again home to like a ton of classrooms there's only a security guard here but I don't know where they were at today but you always have to scan your ID card in to get in though so keep that in mind so you just scan in pull the first door that's the main door and then scan your card again to get through the double doors. And there's always someone at the front desk there, too, to answer your questions. And this building is three floors and, again, just home to a lot of classrooms. I'm actually <laughs> about to walk into my own, very own class, which you guys will see in a second. So I didn't show you the other two floors, but it's exactly like this, the same layout of, like, classrooms and faculty offices. And this is where my classroom was. I was walking to my politics and economics of global media class. Then... Rue jean Nico. this isn't a building but this is just a street near campus this is like campus cafeteria so Apollon cafe there's a pizza hut there's a chinese restaurant um there's this great bakery with this pink and green awning i don't know if you guys can see it further down like on the right side of the screen and yeah just a great food place so if you don't want the Amex or you didn't bring lunch, you can always stop on here and you'll be good to go. And now, last but certainly not least, La Tour Mobeg. Now, I can count now on two fingers after this video, but you will rarely come here. This is home to all things administration. So, like the president's office, deans, provost, student immigration, student account services, financial aid, um, grad program services. Like, I really don't come here long enough <laughs> because I didn't know how to open the door. Like, that just proves to you how I, how rarely I come over here. But it's a lot of just scanning, I guess, because, you know, the president, everyone's there. That'd be super protected, but you have to scan your card th literally four times to get in. But it's nice. It's a lovely building. This is the main lobby and the receptionist there. I don't know her name, but she's always so welcoming and lovely and whatever you need, you can just ask her and she will direct you in the right way. And then you exit, it'll automatically do it for you. And then there's another door. Normally that's closed, but it wasn't today when <laughs> I filmed this. So it was good to go. And yeah, and that is AUP in a nutshell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you on campus. If so, say hi. As always, I'm sending my love to wherever you are in the world where you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye.